What if we could harness the power of lightning to create zero carbon nitrogen fertilizer right on farm using only air, water, and renewable electricity? The current production of conventional synthetic nitrogen fertilizers is based on the Harbour Bosch process that revolutionized global food production since the 1920s. However, while essential for feeding a growing population, this process requires high pressures and temperatures and heavily depends on fossil fuels and is responsible for 1.5% of total greenhouse gas emissions. This figure rises to 5% when accounting for the distribution and application of fertilizers across 4.8 billion acres globally. Device mission is to revolutionize the production and use of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers through an electrified, decentralized process that not only combats climate change, but also enhances food security. The Electric Nitrogen Project is set to transform the way farmers access and use fertilizer. Our vision is to enable farmers to generate nitrogen fertilizer directly on their farms using Debye's prototype plasma-based system powered by renewable energy using only air, water and electricity. This innovation will provide farmers with an affordable, sustainable solution, giving them greater control over their fertilizer cost and supply. Lightning releases intense energy, breaking apart nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere. These molecules then reform into nitrogen dioxide, which reacts with water to create nitrate ions. When it rains, these nitrate ions fall to the ground, naturally fertilizing plants. Every day, millions of lightning strikes produce tons of nitrate, creating a free fertilizer shower from the sky. Dubai's direct nitrogen capture process mimics this natural nitrogen fixing ability of lightning, effectively taking a page out of nature's playbook. This process aligns perfectly with regenerative practices. We designed and built a 1 kilowatt class proof of concept plasma reactor from the ground up. We ran our reactor continuously to produce two 5 liter jerry cans of dilute nitric acid solution, with about 10% by weight concentration containing a kilogram of nitrate using only air, water, and 100% renewable electricity. Along with project management and life cycle analysis, the UK AgriTech Center conducted three trials at its vertical farming development base at Stockbridge Technology Center in Yorkshire. The trials aim to assess the suitability of Debye's electric nitrogen in nutrient mix recipes for hydroponic production of leafy green crops. The trials have demonstrated good results with lettuce and rocket achieving similar yield and growth compared to our farm usual fertilizer solution. The UK AgriTech Centre also conducted a survey amongst outdoor farmers to assess commercial viability of Debye's product. So our biggest variable cost on the farm is our nitrogen fertiliser. It's part of an international market, so it's subject to pretty significant price fluctuations. Timing of that purchase is critical to getting that price as low as possible to increase our, our margins. We find throughout the year that, and, and depending on when we buy it, that there's huge variations in quality. We can have issues where there might be poor storage on the shipping or maybe even on the farm here where that quality can decrease. We might have lumps come through which can drastically affect our spread patterns and the efficiency of our applications. If we had our own system on the farm that we could produce our own nitrogen fertilizer, then that would make a huge difference to us in securing our supply. We will develop containerized modular systems for on-farm fertilizer production. These systems will significantly reduce ecological costs of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers while keeping the economic costs manageable. Although still in development, this approach could transform fertilizer production. It will empower farmers by decoupling the cost of fertilizer from the cost of fuel, providing farmers with stability over a decade in fertilizer cost and security in their operations, cutting out the middlemen and eliminating the need for long distance transportation. We're seeing more and more pressure from government from external bodies to improve our overall sustainability and our climate footprint. And if there's technology that can help us do that, we'd be really willing to adapt it and try it on the farm. This is potentially huge. We've never really seen options to produce our own nitrogen fertilizer on farm. I mean, it's in the air, we've got it all around us, but we can't access it. So if there was a technology that we could get that here immediately in front of us, then brilliant, we'd be keen to try that. Improving the energy efficiency of direct nitrogen capture process has the potential to enhance food security, fight hunger, 
and decarbonize the 100 billion pound fertilizer industry. With sustained, well-funded research, achieving this breakthrough by the end of this decade is within reach. To learn more about this project, visit the Advisor UK Agritech Centre websites. If you'd like to get involved in exciting projects like this, get in touch with the UK Agritech Centre today.